you had Twitter within minutes, you had YouTube within minutes, and and somehow we're trying to say that, oh, it's an automatic filtering system. Wrong. That's not how right. it is. Someone knew that this video was coming right. and was waiting for it to happen. <laughs> Glad to have you here. So, well, actually, I shouldn't say I'm glad to have you. I had a minor panic attack earlier today. We had a lot of a lot of crap hit the fan. So, for people watching this uh, who aren't Mug Club members yet on YouTube, last night's video did 240,000 plays in seven hours, removed due to a privacy violation. There you go. We can see it up there. <laughs> uh, someone complained. This is where Sven Computer went to South by Southwest. Uh, and then we were, well, we, I, was suspended from Twitter for the exact same video being a violation of their code of conduct, right? I think the actual email said, enemy of the state known as Twitter. Yes, enemy of the state known as Twitter. Also, Jack Dorsey thinks you're a dick. But that was more an aside. Well, I mean, it was just a picture of a dick that they sent you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, the assumption was that it was Jack Yeah, well, well, they don't, it's Anthony Weiner actually works for them. He's just an, he's a brand ambassador. <laughs> um, it's so... Explain this to the to the audience for people who don't know, because we have a lot of things that we're working on here behind the scenes. We don't want to just complain about Twitter or Facebook or YouTube. We want to fill you in on what's going on and, and what actions we're taking and you can take. So what's their claim here? Their argument is that people are upset and they want to try and shut down voices that they don't like. So if you go to the different platforms, they're saying different things. You look at Twitter specifically and Twitter's saying... We don't like anything about what you've done. The problem is, is that the way that they've complained about it, it was so fast. It was as though someone at Twitter was sitting there waiting for the video to come up. Yes. So they could be like, and no. Yeah, yeah. And no. And YouTube immediately. It was as though someone at South by Southwest didn't want us there. <laughs> Yeah, it, I mean, <laughs> I, I, yeah, there's no other way to describe it. I mean, you had Twitter within minutes, you had YouTube within minutes, and and somehow we're trying to say that, oh, it's an automatic filtering system. Wrong. That's not how right. it is. Someone knew that this video was coming right. and was waiting for it to happen. Should, should mention, it is alive and well in MySpace. No one yes, no exactly, bothered, it's on MySpace, so, but know. you can't find it. Um, <laughs> l let me ask you this. First off, legally, and then we'll get into an, an irony here. Legally, uh, this was filmed at South by Southwest. It's a single-party consent state, right? Correct. Okay. And we bleeped any profanity. It would even be fine for TV. Uh, what else? There were no acts of violence. No acts of violence. No, we covered uh, up any names, names which we don't have to do, but we did. Don't covered all those up and still allegedly some kind of privacy violation. Uh, and there's, there isn't really an expectation of privacy when you're at an event like that where cameras are rolling. So we want to be clear about that. Uh, here's the funny thing about Twitter. They said it was a violation of their policy, hateful conduct. And you and I know, because we've dealt with this for a while, this is the same Twitter that allows tweets like this up there, if you look at them side by side. Uh, as a matter of fact, Bill knows this. We asked Twitter to review these tweets, the ones that say, we have to bleep myself here, unfortunately, like, gas the c**ks talking about killing Jews. It's actually It actually comes from a neo-Nazi website because they hated me. They thought I was Jewish. Right. So they did anti-Semitic tweets. Then when they found out I wasn't Jewish, they said, let's make him out to be the anti-Semite. These tweets were actually submitted to Twitter to review. We said... These are libelous. Some of them are death threats. And it's not a violation of Twitter's code of conduct. No, they just said, oh, there's nothing we can do about it. Oh, they, you know, people, they say these things. Right. We just let it happen. And, the, and yet here they are, years later, right. in some cases. They say it's their policy. But here's the thing. We follow the actual law of the land of the United States, and we get removed for policy. These are actually, there, there's libel, there's death threats. These are actually against the law, and Twitter allows them. That's exactly. They, they have no problem whatsoever. It's not even a matter of, oh, the computer didn't catch it. It was, no, you were specifically asked to do a review. You reviewed it, and your conclusion was that statements attributing genocide to someone right. fake. Like, fake. There's literally, We're okay. like, but there's literally a fake swastika tattooed on my neck. What can we do? It's Twitter. Well, we sent Sven Computer in to identify as a computer at a gender nonconformity meetup. Call the police! I can't believe <laughs> can, can we call the SS? Damn it, that was a fake meme. We don't have any SS. Can we get some SS? So here's the thing, it's so damaging. By the way, it's damaging. It wasn't it it, it, was, it was up long enough, these tweets, these fake tweets, mind you. That UT Arlington professor, what's his what's his name again? It's Charles Hermes. Actually, Hermes. used these memes to try and stir activists to get us banned from SMU. Right. That's that's it's now. <laughs> By the way, that's March twenty second. You're going to be there. Going to be there. I'm excited. Your SMU. Go yes. ahead. Yeah. And he so, used these. It, he's using them. He's posting them. He's sending them out to a network. He's taking statements that have been demonstrably proven false time and time again. Even if you didn't see that the original one was false, you could see hundreds of comments of fans of not just 
you. Even people say, I don't even like Steven Crowder, but I don't like people being talked about and lied about right. in this context. So even people who aren't your fans are saying, how can we let the dialogue get to this place? And that's what this professor is letting happen. Well, the problem is they haven't really been proven demonstrably false if Twitter allows them to stay up. If Twitter allows things that they know are the, the, the complete falsehoods, libelous, and they allow it to stay up upon manual review, and then something that we do, because it offends some people, even right. though it's a maybe strong PG, is taken down, it gives a sense of legitimacy to things that are lies, and it re removes legitimacy from things that are the truth. Here's something else, too, that we don't, I don't want to get into all of it, because I, I, you can tell me what we can talk about. I'm going to tell you, you can't talk about all of it. But it's not a free speech issue, but there's, there is, we are business partners with mm. Twitter, because we've spent money on ads with Twitter. So there is an inconsistency with Twitter in taking money for ads that we've run to, for either followers or campaigns or right. events that Twitter helped us design. We have dozens and dozens of emails of, and screenshots of Twitter actually creating advertising <laughs> campaigns to gain followers. They wrote the copy. They took the money and then deemed those ads a violation of their own policies and removed our privileges on Twitter to upload Brilliant. videos and cards. <laughs> what, what, what's the legality there? They wrote the copy. Um, those are the laws of the state of Twitter. That's exactly what you're living under right now. The, is that the, legal to do? No, it, it's the issue is a deceptive trade practice. We've right. talked about this before when we were dealing with Facebook. Facebook decided they wanted to do the right thing. At that time, we have had some other issues, but we're trying to work through them. But, right. but for Twitter, it's, again, this issue of you sell a product, you sell a service, you send emails, you induce people to spend money on advertisements, you get them to do it, then you write the ads, you approve <laughs> the ads, you collect more money on the ads, you build up a brand, you build up a, a Twitter handle based on those inducements, and you take all the money, and then right. you go... No, right, and but yeah, but uh, we already spent the money, so we're like not gonna give it right. back. Right, by the way, I think Sven can forget the screen. We actually have a picture of someone who worked at Twitter who was like, no, no, hold on, so it looked like your your ads were frozen, but don't worry, we were we were actually still taking the deposits and charging you anyway. There's the money. <laughs> These are the ads that several months later they said these are a violation of our policies. You can no longer post cards or videos. You wrote the copy. <laughs> They, they come to me, right? They walk up to me. They say, hey, you really should invest in Twitter. And I said, well, why? I don't really know. I'm getting, well, you can gain more followers. And the good thing with Twitter is that it's not algorithmic. You reach your follow. You put it up. You reach your followers. And you know what? We'll even help you create an I don't know the first thing about Twitter. Would you help me create well, an ad campaign? You. Yes, we'll we will. It. Matter of fact, we'll help you with copy. And violation! Violation! <laughs> <laughs> So this is the problem. It's get him. If you want to say they're a private platform and do whatever they want? That's fine. What you can't do is take our money that we would invest elsewhere to your platform and then systematically screw us while allowing illegal content that's libelous and dishonest. It's it's a complete about face, and the only way you can explain it is if there's a certain viewpoint that's favored and a certain viewpoint that's not. Because that's the only way to describe this. Or they have to just admit that they have no idea what they're doing. Right. Well, it's one or the other. That's why I have a half-Asian half lawyer, Bill Richmond, because it seems to me as though uh, this tale has more yet to come. Boom. There you go. Okay, well, and also, by the way, we don't have another platform, but we have Mug Club, lightwithcutter.com slash Mug Club. Uh, it's not a platform, but it's a way to support us so that you can mm -hmm. keep us on the free platform. We still want to be on YouTube. We want to be on Twitter. We want to be on Facebook. We want to be a thorn in their side, uh, but the only way to do it is to join Mug Club. You get the free a late night show every single day. You also get uh, the judge you work with watches uh, Levin, yep. us, Gavin, Roaming Millennial, Steve. There's so many. We're adding more every single day. Uh, listen, if you want to support, we don't have a Patreon. Mm -hmm. We're not taking donations. We're not starting a legal defense fund. What we have wanted to do is create so much value in the content for you that you want to be a member. We're not sitting with our cup out. We're actually giving you no, a mug. sitting there with our cup out. I'm trying, Tommy. <laughs> so... We want you to want to join because you want to watch the content. $99 for the year. And if you're still not sure, you're a student, you're a veteran, you're active military, it's $69. But right now we're actually offering a 30-day free trial. So you sign up, 30 days free. If you like it, it auto-renews, and then you get a mug club. By the way, people are asking, you get your mug after the 30-day trial. We can't send you the mug because then we'd be, we'd be up we'd be crap creep without a paddle. So right now there's a 30-day free trial, lottowithcrowder.com slash mug club, because we want you to support the content. And listen. We take your money and fight. 
We take your support for us and we fight so that these platforms can be available to you. We don't want to just hide out on Sierra TV. We want to use it so that we can put things up there completely uncensored, mm -hmm. like the video right now. It's gone from YouTube. It's gone from Twitter. The only place to find it on is Facebook. if you're a Mug Club member. Gone from Facebook. But we're going to continue putting out free content. And if you can't do that, the SMU show on March 22nd is completely free, almost sold out, lateralcutter.com slash tour. I think you might make a special appearance there. I will. And uh, we'll keep you abreast as this unfolds. <laughs> Hey, did you enjoy this video? Here's the thing, you're, over, you're here, this is the end of it, so we don't care because you already watched it, but if you really didn't like it and you want to justify it, leave a comment below telling us why you didn't like the video. And if you liked us, let us know and uh, subscribe to the channel because that lets the overlords at YouTube know that, uh, you know what? You're all right.